Hello, my name is L.A. Barnes. I'm a writer and a librarian, and today I'm going to talk to you about my favorite foundation. I should give you a little background. A couple months ago, I went to a uh, beauty party, like one of those Avon parties, but actually it was a company called Beauty Counter, and their mission is to provide products that are safe and non-toxic. They gave their reasons. I'm not going to repeat them because I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, but I will link some Beauty Counter videos below so that you can research it if you would like to. Up to that point, I was VIB Rouge at Sephora and Platinum at Ulta. I was buying a lot of stuff because I was having a lot of problems with my skin. I had some weird surge of hormones as I've gone over, uh, as I got over 35 years old that just attacked my skin like crazy. I was covered in pimples, like my neck was just zits and cysts and it was so mortifying and I was getting every skincare item I could think of trying to make it go away and tons of makeup trying to cover it up. By the time I went to the beauty counter party it was actually a lot better. Uh, not nearly as bad as it had been before but it's, it was still there. Ever since I started using beauty counter and using the Environmental Workgroup's Skin Deep database to look up the non-beauty counter items that I use to be careful about what ingredients are in them. I've had even even better success with my skin. There's got to be a better way to say that. I, I'm clearer than I was before. And my skin seems to look healthier. So I'm going to keep going down this road for a while. And now even though my channel isn't really about beauty, I was having so much trouble, and this helped me so much, I feel I would be negligent in not telling you. And I'm going to add one more caveat. I do not work for Beauty Counter. I'm not being paid by Beauty Counter. I only know one person who works for Beauty Counter, and that's my consultant. Um, and I don't think they're the only way to get at natural beauty. If you go to the Environmental Work Group's Skin Deep database, there's actually some decent stuff at the drugstore, which is a lot less expensive. And I think you can still use very safe, very, and be careful about your products and do it at a lower price level. However, having said all that, this foundation, their tint, Beauty Counter's Tint Skin, is the best foundation I've ever owned. This is exactly what I wanted my skin to look like. Now, I go for a very natural look. Um, and I like a, a heavier made up look. I think it looks neat. I just, I don't have the time and I'm not willing to commit, you know, more than five or ten minutes in the morning to getting ready. But this goes on very easily, very quickly. It's like a light to, if you layer it on, it can be a low medium, maybe, coverage. But it just makes my skin look glowing and I can't even look at you because I'm all distracted by the way I look in the camera. Now it doesn't perfect my skin. I still have a lot of old scars from having acne almost my entire life. And particularly from having it really bad a couple of months ago or more at the beginning of the year. But this and the um, IT Cosmetics Foundation Stippling Brush takes two minutes just and achieves a look I haven't been able to achieve with anything else. The one downside with this product is that there aren't a lot of shades. I want to say there are seven or eight and I am... what shade am I? I'm linen. I have trouble finding the right shade because of ethnic reasons that I'm not going to get into um, because that would make this video even longer than it's already going to be. But the short version is I have like a, a yellow undertone to my skin as opposed to a pink undertone. And they did have a shade that worked for me. Linen has worked for me really well. But this is like the second or third... second or third one in of only seven shades. So if you don't look at one of these foundations and go, oh god, that's, that's exactly me, then I would recommend finding your local consultant and seeing if they can let you try a couple of different colors. They may or may not have them, but it's definitely worth asking. So once again, I really like Tint Skin 
from Beauty Counter. I think it's the best foundation I've ever owned. If you would like to see more videos from me, please click subscribe. I will be coming back next week with more stuff. I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see.